Hello everyone! It is time for our Facebook Live and I'm so excited about today's project. I, I have been um, kind of like, just excited all day for it because it is so cute. I love it so much and it's, um, well I'll go into it a little bit later, but um, I'm so excited for it so you guys are going to love it too. So I hope my camera is set up okay. All right, we are just going to jump right in. Um, we have celebration in full swing. If you um, do not have a celebration or an occasions catalog and you're in the United States and you're not currently working with a demonstrator, let me know. I'd love to get these in the mail for you. I'd love for you to have them in your hand so you can place some orders. Celebration is such a great time to get free stuff. All the stuff in here you get for free. I mean, I just, I just love celebration so much. It's my favorite, favorite time of the year. But... It is also such an amazing time to join Stampin' Up! To join my team, we have such an amazing team. And I would love to have you a part of the team. And when you join, you can get this bag for free. It's a $50 value, and it's such an amazing bag. I've actually been using it a lot, and it's such an amazing, amazing bag. So, if you are interested in joining, I put a link in the video description. And you can join my team. If you have questions, please let me know. I love to talk to you more about it. Um, Stampin' Up! is just so much fun to work with. And I registered this morning for like a little um, convention type thing or mini convention. It's called On Stage Local. And I will be going to Salt Lake City in April. I have to think about when that was. I'm going in April. And um, I'm so excited. And we'll get the brand new catalog then. That's the big annual catalog. We'll get that in April. So I'm so excited. And um, that's just one of the amazing, amazing perks of being part of the Stampin' Up! family is the opportunity to go to events like that and um, see new products and get a sneak peek at products early. And it's just one of my favorite parts. So if you want to join in on some of that fun, join my team. I'd love to have you. Okay. If you do want to place an order, please um, use this host code. Head to my website. If your order is under 150 use the host code. And, I, and if it's $50, which I know it will be because you want some of that free celebration stuff, um, I'm going to send you a pack of the free enamel hearts, which we're going to use today. Yay, I'm excited. And if your order is over 150 don't use the host code because you're going to get the Stampin' Rewards yourself. And remember, with every $50 you spend, you get a free celebration product. So, I mean, why not place that 150 order, right? Get three celebration products and Stampin' Rewards. It's all good, right? Okay, today we're going to be using this stamp set, the Hey Love stamp set. This is one of my absolute favorite stamp sets in the catalog. Um, it's so perfect for Valentine's Day. My kids love this stamp set. Um, they especially love this little otter. <laughs> and I'm I'm completely in love with that otter too, but we're not using him today, but I did use him. He'll be on my blog um, this week, probably Thursday of this week, but these are little um, treat boxes that I made for um, my class attendees last weekend. So I still have a couple of these left, but he's so cute, isn't he? And then that's the lovely lipstick foil. So this isn't what we're making today. Don't get confused. We're not making that, but I just wanted to show you how cute that otter was. And then there's the cute little alligator crocodile, the gorilla, the skunk. I mean, there's just so many, so many cute images in here. And they do have some Valentine greetings, but none of the greetings are attached to the stamps. So you could absolutely use these for any occasion at all. I think it's a great stamp set. So, and Valentine's Day is one month away. Yesterday was January 14th. So that is exactly one month until Valentine's Day. Okay, let me show you what we are making today. Look at this cute little box. Oh my gosh. Isn't he cute? I'm gonna like pull him closer because look at how stinging cute he is. Oh my gosh, I just love him. But I wanna show you the inside because the inside is really special. So I have some of our organdy ribbon tied on here and I just made it into a knot, so give me a sec. Um, this is our organdy ribbon that is a celebration offering and look at when you open it up, what? Isn't that adorable? There's two little Ghirardelli candies in there and there's little pockets for each one now this little box I have to show you this little box um, I've made this box before it's been on my blog before not with this stamp or anything but I will show you I pulled this out of my closet this is the inspiration I made this 10 years ago see it's it's pretty battered and we don't sell hardly 
I don't think any of these products anymore except for the black and white cardstock. I think that's the only thing we still sell. But um, this is where the inspiration came from. So I took this, I made it a little shorter. It's just a little bit shorter. And um, I made it into this cute little, I've modified it so it's even better. Isn't that cute? Okay, we're gonna make this. I'm gonna show you how to make the box. And then actually, let's do our stamping first. Let's do that first. Now, on this one, I used the cute little alligator or crocodile. I don't know if you're a crocodile fan, it's a crocodile. If you're an alligator fan, it's an alligator. I don't, I asked my animal expert children what it was and neither of them could agree either. So I think it could be either. So your call, I guess. We're gonna use the skunk this time. He's so cute too. So, um, and we're gonna color him with blend. So I'm going to stamp him in Memento. So here we go. I'm just gonna stamp him off to the side. So cute. Isn't he cute? I love those little hearts. It's like he's throwing a confetti of hearts. Okay, we're gonna set the stamping ink. This is the only stamping we're doing. This is it. So um, I'm gonna pull this up and I'm going to do some blends coloring. So I have my light and dark smoky slate. I have um, my light lovely lipstick. I have my color lifter because I I always need my color lifter. And then I have um, light and dark basic black. These were in the holiday catalog and I meant to look to see if they were on the carryover list. So I think they are. I want to say they are, but just in case, we're, we're going to use the black sparingly anyway because um, the black is really, really dark and we don't want to kind of wash him out even though he is a skunk. He's going to be kind of, he's black, but we don't want to wash him out. Okay, so I'm going to think about where a skunk would have his, so he's going to have a white stripe down his tail. So we're going to make this back part black. So I'm going to use my dark smoky slate first and I'm going to add shadows where it's going to be the darkest. And then I'm going to come in with my light and then I'm just going to kind of go over that dark part and blend it out. And then if you need to go back over, add a little bit more darkness, you can. Okay. And then I think, I mean, I'm not a skunk expert. I don't think I've even ever come face to face with a skunk. So, um, not that I would like to. Actually, I have. I mean, not face to face, but I've seen them in the wild. Um, from a distance. <laughs> okay, we're going to color him. He's going to have... And now if we were using our black, I mean, we wouldn't be able to get any of the details of his face. So you can see just where I've added those dark highlights. Let me pull it up a little bit so you can see. I like to add my dark highlights first, and then I go in and I add my light. And it blends it all together, and it just keeps those dark parts dark and shaded. And after you color it all, you can always go back in and add more dark parts if you want. So down here, kind of over his little, by his ears, it's going to be a little darker, dark over here. On the bottom of his arms, it's going to be a little darker. And then on his legs. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. And then I'm going to go back in with my light and just blend it out a little bit. Cute. I don't even think we need the black. We just, we did it all with the smoky slate and that's it. But if you wanted to add some more darker, richer colors, you could. Now I'm going to take my light, lovely lipstick. I'm gonna color his nose, and then I'm gonna color all these hearts. And I'm using the brush tip on my um, on my blends. I prefer the brush tip opposed to the um, the bullet tip. There's two different tips. So this is the smaller bullet tip, and then you have the brush tip. I usually always color with the brush tip. That is my preference. Um, but you know, everybody is different. You need to color however you feel most comfortable with, okay? So that is our little skunk. He's so cute, and I didn't even need the color lifter. I didn't go outside the lines. So how cute is he, though? He's really cute. So I'm going to take my... Now, I will tell you guys this. We're cutting some time off of this because I did fussy cut my alligator here. But if you don't want to fussy cut, I know a lot of you don't like to fussy cut. If you don't want to fussy cut, just use a punch. So I'm going to use my 2-inch punch on him instead of fussy cutting him because we would have to cut around all those little hearts and that could be a nightmare even for me so so no fussy cutting on the skunk we're just going to punch him out and i did want to show you the i did the gorilla too 
I wasn't sure if we were going to use the Gorilla or the Skunk, but I decided to go with the Skunk. Now, you can see the color difference of the Gorilla. I used a lot of the basic black. And the Skunk, we just used the Smoky Slate. So you can see the, the rich color difference that the black gives you opposed to the Smoky Slate. But we're going to go with the Skunk today because I think he's super, super cute. Okay, so let's finish. I'm going to use some Fast Fuse today. Um, just because we're going to be using that on the box, but you can use whatever you have. And I'm going to stick him onto a balmy blue starburst here. And then we're going to set him aside while we do our box, okay? So the box is really easy. It looks like super complicated, but it's really easy. You need three pieces of cardstock. Your first piece is six by three, and you're just going to score it at two and a half and three and a half. And that's it. And that's like the, that's like your book, your little book here. Okay. So again, that's six by three scored at two and a half and three and a half. Okay. Now you need two pieces like this that are completely identical. This is four by two and a half. And on three sides, I've scored it at half and one inch from each side. So it's half and one inch, and then I rotated it and did half and one inch, and then I rotated it again and did half and one inch. So on three sides, you're gonna score it at half an inch and one inch from each side. And you're gonna leave the top. So I don't know if the score lines are picking up. There you go. So you can see those score lines there. So it's scored on three sides at half an inch and one inch, and where's my scissors? And we're gonna trim it. And so both of these are completely identical. Same size same scoring. So we're going to cut up these vertical lines on the bottom. So the one side that you didn't score, that's the top. So on the bottom, we're going to cut up all these vertical lines down here, okay? And I'm going to do this twice in case you don't get it the first time. Okay, and then I just notched in. We took out this whole bottom part and I notched that in just a little bit. That's really gonna help our box go together a little easier. And then on these bottom ones, I'm just gonna cut off one of those squares. Okay, and that is really all the trimming you're gonna do. So basically you're just taking an L out of the side. So I'm gonna do that again. So the part that doesn't have any horizontal score lines is your top, and we're gonna cut up those vertical lines. Okay, easy peasy, everybody's with me. And then we're gonna notch this in a little bit and we're gonna take that out and we're gonna take out this little square. Okay, and again, we're gonna notch this in a little bit and then we're just gonna take out this little square. That is it, that is all the trimming. So now we're just gonna glue it together. Actually, let's, Let's burnish on all these score lines real quick. So that's going to really help our, our box go together. And probably that would have been easier to do before we started trimming. But better late than never, huh? So, okay. When I first made that little penguin box that I showed you at the beginning, where I got this inspiration, um, so I told you I made that in January of 2009. So it has been almost 10 years exactly since I came up with this design. And I love that, I love, I have it here, I still have it. I love this box so much. And I had a couple extras. I think I made 40 of these for um, my husband's job. And I had some left over. And so I've always saved little boxes that I've loved because I can go back and modify them to cute little projects now. Okay, so but I can't believe it's been 10 years. It's crazy. Okay, my fast fuse is like, it's gonna give me problems because it's a camera. Okay, let me show you where we put adhesive. So, adhesive on pretty much all the outside ones. These outside tabs have adhesive, the outside half inch tabs. I put adhesive on these little square flaps and then adhesive on this bottom one. And the way it's just gonna go together, we're gonna fold these little flaps in. That's gonna adhere to the bottom like that. That's going to go on this side. And then this bottom part is going to fold up. And then these will just fold right over just like that. 
Does that make sense? And then there's already adhesive on it. So we are going to open up our little book here that we have and we're just gonna stick that down near the bottom, line it up. We're gonna take our bone folder and just make sure it's all nice and stuck. And that is our first side. Isn't that cute? Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. So adhesive on all the outside flaps. I'm using my fast fuse, but you could use tear tape or you could even use um, liquid adhesive. You can use Tombow. And then I'm going to fold those little square flaps under those square flaps. They're going to fold it on the bottom here. And then this one's going to get folded up and these little sides just get adhered. The only place they're getting adhered is just in this corner right here. But then they stick onto, I'm going to pull this in again. And we're gonna line it up on the other side. I'm gonna stick that down, use our bone folder and get in all those sides, make sure it's stuck down. And that is our cute little box. Okay, isn't that just the cutest? Okay, let me take out our little candies from here because I only have two of these. I need to go get some more Ghirardellis. These are strawberry bark. I got them at Target. They came two in a little tiny box like this, but we made a cuter box. But I've never had these strawberry bark ones. I don't know how good they are, but isn't that super cute? Okay, so that is ready for our us to finish. So I have some on this one, on the little alligator, I used the Lemon Lime Twist Organdy Ribbon. And on our little skunk, we're going to use the Balmy Blue Organdy Ribbon from the Celebration Catalog because it matches our little starburst here. So we are going to, we're going to finish the front of our, before we add a ribbon, we're going to finish the front first. So I have taken, this love is from the Well Said Framelits. And I'm going to pop this out. And I already have some, what do you call it, the multi-purpose adhesive sheets on the back of this. So this love is just going to be like a sticker. I should be able to just peel this off. There we go. So this is, um, I put the multi-purpose sheet on the back of the foil before I cut it. So now it's like a little sticker. So before we add that, we need to add our, our skunk. Okay, so we're gonna stick him on here. Where is, we're gonna stick him right there. And then we're just gonna stick the love right on the bottom and it's just gonna overlap that, that starburst a little bit. And I'm gonna take my bone folder and just make sure that's stuck down so isn't that cute oh I love it so cute you could do this you could make a box for every little critter in that that stamp set so and this is probably my first Facebook live project where we are not using dimensionals can you guys believe that so crazy right so I'm gonna put my ribbon on here I'm just gonna kind of place it where I want it and once my ribbon is on there, I'm going to stick this on to hold that ribbon in place. Because it's fast fuse, once it's down, it's down. Perfect, so we're gonna stick that on there. Get a good press. And then all we need to do is just tie a ribbon. And I've cut this really long. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see. Like, it's really long. I wanted to make sure I gave myself enough to add a really nice big bow. So, I'm gonna tie this into a bow on the side which will be challenging on video, so we'll see how this goes. So, cannot talk and tie a bow at the same time, apparently. So there we go. Super cute, let me get my scissors. Just trim off some of those really long ends. There we go, super cute, what do you guys think? Isn't he adorable? I love him, so let me pull out my, my little alligator one again. Oh, you know what? We forgot. We forgot our enamel hearts. Oh my gosh. So I have, these are our heart epoxy droplets. And I'm going to color three of them. I've already colored one. I thought I was going to use four on my other one, but I didn't. But I'm going to color them with our blends. And that will change the color of them because they come clear. But you can change them to any color you want. So I use that same light lipstick, lovely lipstick. And... Here's my paper piercer. And then we're just gonna add, you could use your um, 
take your pick tool for this too. And then we're just gonna add some little hearts. Super cute, I can't believe I nearly forgot this. This was my favorite part. And we're gonna add some little hearts. He has a lot of hearts already too, but these I think just really make it special. So there we go, three little hearts. Isn't that cute? So now we'll bring in our, our cute little alligator again. And it has our little chocolates in there. So I'll have to get more chocolates for him, but there you go. There is your super cute little Valentine, quick little Valentine project. You could make a bunch of these for um, coworkers, for teachers. How cute would this be for a little teacher? You know, it opens like a little book. It's so cute. So I hope you enjoyed this project. These, I will have um, detailed pictures of both of these projects on my blog tomorrow, along with the written, written dimensions of everything and the um, video up. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If you'd like to place an order, please head to my website. Use the hostess code if it's um, under $150, and I will be happy to send you a package of the um, enamel hearts. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have questions, again, please let me know, and I will see you later. Bye.